We head to the UK now for a classic day out at the home of motor racing. The famous Silverstone Circuit in England recently played host to the world's biggest classic motor racing festival. Now in its 21st year, the Silverstone Classic is a celebration of motor racing heritage and for 2011 it was bigger than ever. The event's grown over the last few years. It has really become the world's biggest classic motor racing festival. One of our phrases is access all areas. You really have got the opportunity to get to places that you really can't get to in Formula One or anything else like that. You can get up and touch everything. You can kick all the race tyres, you can talk to the drivers and the mechanics, and you can watch some of the most fantastic motorsport anywhere. This year's classic centred on a very special anniversary, the official 50th birthday celebration of perhaps the most famous British sports car ever made. This afternoon we're doing the world record attempt of a number of E-types on a track together. It's a Guinness world record attempt. Uh, we're hoping to get somewhere around a thousand. They were built just up the road and uh, there are celebrations going on all over the world, but this is the biggest club celebration anywhere. The parade on the new Silverstone Grand Prix circuit was an unforgettable sight. The spectacle of so many E-types gathered in one place might never be seen again. It makes us feel really proud. I mean, this is something that Britain can be proud of. That's why we're flying the flag. I mean, in the 60s, the car was um, untouchable, really. I mean, Jaguar has always provided cars for the masses uh, that are a little bit racy, but, uh, but affordable at the same time. In fact, the celebrations had attracted owners from all over the world. I'm uh, George Denny from Switzerland, and uh, I'm uh, from Jaguar Drivers Club Switzerland. I'm vice president. The E-Type was launched in Geneva, and uh, it was an absolute uh, revelation of how cars could, could be built, because if you compare other cars of the era, I mean, Jaguar was in a totally different world. It was like a car from the moon. We knew that we wanted to come back to the country where these cars were born. So it's 23 E-types from Switzerland that are here now. Hi, my name is Daniela. I'm from Austria. And we drove here with our Jaguar E-type. It was about a thousand mile drive. It took us two days because we were going rather slowly. I just like the form of it because it's so beautiful. It's the most beautiful car in the world. My father got several Jags, the XK120 and well, but I think the E-type is a girly car as well because I can drive it easily. As well as the parade, the iconic Jaguars were also let loose in challenge races, attracting some notable drivers. It's been a great experience. You know, a full grid of cars, 52 cars, great weather. The whole show's got bigger over the last couple of years. I think there's, I don't know how many people are in here, but it must be 30, 40,000 people to watch the event. So they put on a great show this weekend. You know, these are the, the dream cars, and they're still in such good condition, and they go like crazy. And, um, you know, a lot of us, we dreamed of owning these cars. Now I'm racing one. Supporting the headlining E-Type activities was an amazing array of competition cars spanning the decades, featuring some of the finest and most valuable historic races in the world. One of the favorites were the GP Masters F1 cars dating back to 1966. What's wonderful about it is that it's the opportunity to see these cars, which many people saw in period, in the very, esoteric surroundings of a Grand Prix. It's the spectacle, it's the noise, it's what it looks like. And the racing is good and it's competitive, but it's not cutthroat. They don't throw each other off into the scenery. It's done with the best sporting spirit in the world. Over the weekend, 80,000 people enjoyed the evocative motorsport history, while over 800 E-types took part in the special birthday parade. This year's event really lived up to its billing as the biggest classic racing festival. This has now turned into probably the best historic race meeting. It's so iconic now, and I think they've built up something which will stand for years as being the premier meeting in Europe.